club is an association of people that's united by a common interest. A school club helps to nurture students to enhance their social skills. And when it comes to the case of the major world language, we are getting the greatest opportunity that paves way to global interaction and social entertainment. A good communication is just as stimulating as black coffee and just as hard to sleep after. Now we are here gathered for the English Club inauguration of the year 2020-21. Let's start with a prayer. If you kneel before Lord, then you can stand for anyone. If you walk with Lord, then you will never walk alone. So here comes the prayer by Sunaina Pramod of Levin Science. Welcome the challenges. Look for every opportunity to learn. We are delighted to offer the most hospitable welcome that we can give you. So here we have Head of Department, English, Ms. Mida for the welcome address. Honorable Chief Guest, Respected Principal, Vice Principal, Teachers and my dear students. Greetings and warm wishes from Progressy. Language is not a genetic gift. It's a social gift. Learning a new language is becoming a member of the club, the community of the speakers of that language. Hope you all are safe at home. COVID-19 lockdown has brought about a paradigm in the field of education. The pandemic has abruptly pushed a pause button in every field. But here at Progressive, we have resumed our school activities through digital platforms. Today, we are going to witness English Club Inauguration. Language is an important medium through which educational process fulfill its aim. So it is highly essential that students should be able to use language in its best level. The club aims at enhancing communication and collaboration among students and fostering their creativity. It is an important platform to practice English speaking and listening skills in an authentic, fun and relaxed environment. The duty which I am bestowed today is to welcome all to this program. First of all, on behalf of every Progressivians, I heartily welcome our chief guest, Mr. A.C. Sri Hari, Professor of English, Payeno College. Hearty welcome, sir. Next, I would like to welcome our principal, Ms. Sujitra R., the lifeblood of our institution. Hearty welcome, ma'am. Now, it's my pleasure to welcome our vice principal, Mr. Ehia U.V., who always works for the betterment of the school and the students. Welcome, sir. Now I extend a warm welcome to all the teachers and the students who have constantly extended their support and love to all the prospects of the school. 
once again we welcome you all in this humble and prestigious program so i conclude by saying that use this platform to participate and to demonstrate your talents and potentials stay home stay safe this time to will pass thank you now we all are officially welcomed to the event let me tell you one thing the greatest blessing of progressing is to have such a loving and influential person as our principal it's time to welcome our principal mr sutra r to deliver the presidential address the respected chief guest teachers and students greetings and warm wishes the covid-19 has brought in a drastic changes in our lives we are exposed to new challenges though we are confined within four walls of our house our activities must go on because the time and tide waits for no man that's why we are here today in the online english club inauguration our english club is always in use because of the variety of program it conducts so far we have conducted ted talks talk masters which enable the students to enhance their english speaking skills this year though we are in the online mode i think all my students will come up as usual and utilize this opportunity to enhance their creativity and communication skills and i'm very happy to say that we have a very renowned and very apt person who would be inaugurating the english club he is none other than dr ac srihari who is the professor at the pioneer college i'm wishing all success uh, for all the programs conducted by the english club wishing you all the best and thank you very much time for the purpose of the event a guest of honor is ac srihari professor of pioneer college we really appreciate his presence in this online platform he is a researcher in film studios and has published two books of poetry in malayalam he has also published a collection of articles in english he has awarded phd for the making of the male the study of popular art films in malayalam from kanno university kerala with extreme honor let me welcome our chief guest to inaugurate the club my dear students and teachers of progressive english school wadipura very happy having been invited for this program to inaugurate your english club english is a global language a link language and english is one language that has led our nation to progress your school is progressive our local life regional life was considered to be barbaric by the british people and the white men they have their own their own burden to educate us to make us modern human beings and they were on a great mission here to civilize us to make us homo sapiens thinking men and the whole centuries of colonization is over now we have become our own masters now we use the same english to teach the british people back the europeans back for the people all over the world look at we keralites from a different perspective 
we are more advanced in the field of education and of health than even the most developed nations of the world. How did you achieve this greatness, you know? By constant practice. English was of course a tool to achieve this great great position that we have achieved globally. See, ours is a land where we are divided by caste, religion and so many such factors that divide us. Of course gender is there, regional disparities are there. And we overcome all these things through interaction, through education, through English education. We have constructed a public sphere where we can join together, we can sit together, we can talk together, we can live together. We were separated by different compartments, walls in the past. And modern education equipped us to sit together under one roof. And now, during this global pandemic, we are divided. But we join using this modern technology of mobile phone or internet. And we join together by keeping social distance. We are mentally uh, combined together. So this is a happy occasion now, I think, in spite of the whole trauma that we experience in our life. Of course, there are curriculum, syllabus, textbook, classroom activities, online learning happening in our schools and colleges. But we have to support and supplement our formal activities in the class with club activities as well. You should use your English club as a springboard to leap up, to go beyond the ordinary classroom situations. Classroom is a very formal situation where there will be teachers, there will be people to uh, see that everything is happening intact. But club activities give us maximum hope. Sky is the limit. You can do anything and everything under the banner of a club. So, what is required now is to strike back, write back, speak back. We have been taught so many things by the yes, colonial masters of English. So, now we can produce knowledge using our own experience personal experiences, private experiences. You know why you come to schools? Not merely to learn lessons, but to share your everyday ordinary experiences with your friends in the class as well. So you can construct knowledge, you can produce knowledge, you can disseminate knowledge. For that purpose we require a club like this. And I am very happy to announce that the English club is open for its year-long activities. Thank you. Those motive words has really helped us to raise ourselves for an excellent English communication skill. He have also made us clear that how important is English in our lives. What English club in operation without some beautiful spices from our students? Here are some beautiful contributions from our students of Progressive. First of all, a poem by Zahra Ali of 5th A. Who understands me but me by Jimmy Santiago Baca. They turned the water off, so I live with the water. They build the walls higher, so I live with our treetops. They paint the windows black, so I live without sunshine. They lock my cage, so I live without going anywhere. 
They take each last tear I have. I live with the tears. They take my heart and rip it open. I live with a the heart. They take my life and crush it. So I live without a future. They say I'm beastly and fiendish. So I have no friends. They stop up each hope. So I have no passage of hell. They give me pain. So I live with pain. They give me hate. So I live with hate. They have changed me. And I'm not the same man. They give me no shower. So I live with my smell. They separate me from my brothers. So I live with my brothers. Who understands me when I say this is beautiful? Who understands me when I say I have found out the freedoms? I cannot fly or make something appear in my hand. I cannot make the heavens open and the earth tremble. I can live with myself and amaze at myself. My love, my beauty. I'm taken by my failures and stunned by my fears. I'm stubborn. I'm childish. In this wreckage of life that incurred, I found so many parts of myself never dreamed of by me. Never got it from under all hearts. Where the walls were built higher, and the water was turned off, and the wind was painted black. I followed these signs like no tracker. Followed this trap deep into myself. Followed the black spotted path deeper into dangerous reading and found so many parts of myself. Who taught me water is not everything and gave me new eyes to see through walls. And when they spoke, sunlight came out of their mouths and I was laughing at me with them. Laugh like children. of the poem is still ticking my ears. Next, it's an English song from Fatima Nauran of 9th week. into the field of education and it has really pushed off every part of our life. Now let's see a COVID report from Fatima Palot of 12 Science. 
Hi everyone, this is Fatima Palo from 12th Science and today I'm here to talk about something extremely important that is concerning with today's life and that is yes, it is about the COVID-19 pandemic and its effect on our education. Now let us go through some graphs and pictures and some information that I have collected to check out what are the advantages and disadvantages of online classes induced by the COVID-19 pandemic. Now if you look at some graphs based on the COVID-19 pandemic and how it has affected education all over the world in different continents, we see that Africa and Asia have substantially worse states in education than the rest of the continents. And we can see Middle East countries are currently doing way better. They do substantially better than most of the countries in other continents of the world. As said by the COVID-19 response team, the education is a bedrock of a just society in the post-COVID world. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought unprecedented educational disruption with 1.2 billion students and youth across the planet affected by school closures. Now if you're talking about the many disadvantages of online education, one of the most important one is that students are more likely to gain and succeed in their life from an offline class more than an online class. Not to mention that dropouts are more likely during this pandemic due to the fact that students are simply not interested in sitting for online classes. We also have to take into account of the many and numerous examinations that has been postponed due to this pandemic. When we talk about the different disadvantages that online schooling has, we have to talk about the poor plight of the students who are studying in rural areas. Considering the fact that the rural areas, especially of India, do not have proper internet connectivity or power, students find it hard to study and concentrate. Also, we have to take into consideration the fact that many rural families are not financially dependent enough to get electronic devices and uh, Wi-Fi connections for their students to study. Another disadvantage is the fact that cyberbullying has increased over the past few months due to the immense amount of time that students spent online. According to the Government of India, cyberbullying is a punishable offence under the IT Act of 2000 and the Indian Penal Code. Now if we look to the graph on the right which shows the Forbes Statista's COVID-19 staggering impact on global education which shows the number of learners impacted by national school closures worldwide. We can see that the numbers are increasing as the months go by. But we mustn't despair as COVID-19 though it has its negatives and cons, we must look onto the brighter side to its positives and pros. COVID-19 has brought about a tremendous change to today's education as we know it. The COVID-19 pandemic has made us realize that we are indeed lucky to be born in the technological boom of the 21st century. Now we can use our newest technologies to take online classes from teachers without having to meet in person. This is an important uh, way to make sure that we get our education without compromising our health and safety. So that is it for today. Uh, this is Fatima Balot signing out. Hope you enjoyed this video and happy trails ahead for your online classes. We have now understood how much the virus affected our lives. Let's stay home and pray for the good. Gratitude is the fairest blossom that springs from our soul. Here we have one of our teachers, Ms. Zayana, to deliver the vote of thanks. A very good and graceful morning to our most valued chief guest, respective principal, all other teachers and my dear students. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow. It is my proud privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this special occasion. I, Zayana Mehbo, on behalf of English Department of Wadi Huda Progressive English School and the entire fraternity of the institution, first of all extend my most sincere thanks to the Almighty God for making today's event a resounding success. I take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to our Chief Guest of Honor Mr. A.C. Srihari Sir, Assistant Professor of English, Pioneer College, for graciously accepting our invitation and for being with us today. Sir, your presence today is a great source of motivation for all of us. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to our most beloved principal, Mrs. Sujitra Ma'am, 
for delivering presidential address and always been a great source of inspiration. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to express my sincere thanks to our Vice Principal, Mr. Yahya Sir, for his guidance. Thank you, sir. A special thanks goes to Mrs. Smita Ma'am, Head of English Department, for delivering a warm welcome speech. Thank you, ma'am. With a deep sense of appreciation, I would like to thank all my dear students who participated in the club inaugural program and all other teachers of English department for making this program a grand success. Thank you all. Last but not least, I would like to thank all other teachers and most beloved students of the institution. Thank you all. Once again, I thank one and all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now we are going to move for a formal conclusion to this event. Whatever happens, the club promises you to get its maximum. The club is now opening its door of the creative world of skills in beautiful gardens. The English club expects beautiful contribution and active participation from each and every one of you. We hereby declare that the inaugural ceremony of English club for the academic year 2020-21 is officially concluded. Thank you.